These games are ranked by PlayScore, a standard rating that averages gamer and critic reviews. Opening our list of top 10 Android card games is Mabinogi Duel. Meet the colorful characters in the dark Mabinogi world. Play against sorcerers and knights using your deck of 12 cards and fight against players in PvP or PvE mode. With over 1,000 cards, there are millions of possibilities. Use resources to activate your card to destroy your opponent's health and strategically build your deck to counter enemy debuffs and turn the tide in your favor. Its magical world and gameplay is directly inspired from magics. Some say it's the closest thing to a magic-inspired TCG. Complete missions, trade cards, and travel around the world of Mabinogi. It has a play score of 8.09. Number 9 is Card Wars Adventure Time. Inspired by the same card game that almost ruined Finn and Jake's friendship, it's a fancy, super complicated, awesome game that's perfect for nerds, adventurers, and unicorns alike. Hang out at the land of Ooh and complete this epic battle of wits. It's unlike any card game you've ever played. Floop your lands, activate heroes, cast ultimos, and watch your opponents go down. It comes with Jake's corn-based heroes, Finn's cool pig, and a bunch of never-before-seen creatures made especially for the game. Customize your decks with strategic precision, and become the cool guy with Marceline, Bimo, and the rest of your Adventure Time favorites. Take the crown or drink from the Icky Dweeb Cup. Let's hope you're a better sport than Jake. It has a play score of 8.13. Number 8 is Magic 2015. Before there ever was Hearthstone, there was Magic the Gathering. But let's face it, it's pretty damn complicated. Not everyone can learn all of it at once, but a lot of people still want to play it. In come Stainless Games and Wizards of the Coast with the mobile-friendly duels of the Planeswalker. Conceptualized as a steady introduction to the world of magic, it's a much simplified version, replete with tutorials and handicaps to aid the neophyte card collector. Take your first steps and go against the computer opponents using your pre-constructed decks and a little help from the shuffling elves. Despite its relative simplicity, it still manages to attract hardcore gamers thanks to its high production value and enchanting artworks. Plus, this fifth installment adds the ability to create your very own deck. While it may be haunted by annoying microtransactions, it still managed to collect a play score of 8.18. Number 7 is Sentinels of the Multiverse. It's time to put on those hero masks because justice is about to be served. Unlike many games on this list, this award-winning card game is a cooperative comic book adventure. Go online, choose your hero, and join a ragtag group in taking on a collection of monstrous and maniacal villains from around the cosmos. The mechanics are simple, but the strategies are complex. For every one of their unique heroes with their own gameplays and abilities, they also have an albeit limited array of unique and challenging villains that will stand in your way. Think and work together with your team and combine your skills to save the crumbling multiverse. It also has single player support that lets you control up to 5 heroes, so you can set up for the long haul, destroy cards, and defeat the villains all on your own. So go live out your comic book dreams and learn to play a poor hand well. It has a play score of 8.31. Number 6 is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Konami's popular trading card game takes on a new life with enhanced visuals and redesigned controls for an optimized mobile experience. Become the world's best duelist and defeat its iconic roster of villains. Begin your journey onto the top as Yami Yugi or Seto Kaiba. With your deck in hand, take to its futuristic arenas and fight against an assortment of beautifully animated monsters. Watch the Dark Magician cast spells against the Red Dragon and many more signature creatures. With its generous starter rewards, purchase cards with your free gems and line your decks with the rarest beasts and spells. Become the Game King by completing stage missions to go one-on-one -on -one with the legendary characters, or by facing off with talented duelers from all around the world. With original voiceovers and in-depth duels, it's the perfect games for beginners and veterans alike. It has a play score of 8.48. Number 5 is Card City Knights. Meet conventional video game characters in this unique card game that oozes with style. Enjoy the rich urban atmosphere of the rich night sky and challenge a multitude of zany players to collect legendary cards that dominate the city under the pale moonlight. The gameplay revolves around a 3x3 grid when battling another challenger. Match the perfect card to maximize the damage dealing blow to your enemy's health and whip out effective combos to turn the tide of battle. 
there are over 180 unique cards to find, and the absence of in-app purchases make this game much more welcoming. Aside from that, its jazzy soundtrack mixed with hip-hop can make your dueling nights fun. It has a play score of 8.51. Number 4 is Guild of the Dungeoneering. This turn-based adventure comes with a twist. Aside from the usual dungeon crawling shenanigans that your main character has to go through, you don't take control of him this time. Instead, you create your own dungeon in multiple ways. Enable traps, monsters, and loot with your own hands and traverse a seemingly familiar adventure made by you. You start off as a simple hero, but later transform into powerful classes as you progress. The cards presented throughout the game make up your own journey. Battle with other characters with your guild decks and engage in turn-based card battling goodness. Make sure you play your cards right because this game has a play score of 8.56. Number 3 is Clash Royale. From the team behind the massively popular Clash of Clans, Supercell makes a different turn of approach to their castle sieging game. Gone are the impenetrable walls and superpowered Tesla Towers, and say hello to Elixirs and protect your castle against a rampaging enemy with cards. Face off with players from around the world and plan your deck ahead as you rush your legion of warriors to destroy the enemy's castle. Meet the iconic cast of characters from the Clash universe, including sorcerers, goblins, and more. Customize your deck to its most powerful form, throw damage dealing fireballs, or unleash your nasty giants to tear down the enemy's defenses. Just be mindful of your elixirs. This game has a play score of 8.58. Number 2 is Hearthstone. Blizzard's take on the trading card genre takes it to a whole new level. RNG aside, this is a great lore-oriented card game that speaks volumes about the entirety of the Warcraft universe, along with surprisingly good easter eggs from their other projects. Just like Magic, control a deck and choose among the 9 iconic classes and characters from the Warcraft universe. Each has their own unique abilities that shape the battlefield, and it's up to you to outsmart your opponent. Maximize your turn by dealing the most efficient damage to your enemy and watch them concede when you play your cards well. With expansions and balance changes coming in every season, it's a good game for a casually fun card battling experience. It has a play score of 8.65. Here are the runners up before we reveal the number 1. 11 is Empire Deck Building Strategy. Explore the randomly generated worlds and take on ferocious monsters in grid-based tactical combat. Manage your deck filled with action and spell cards, and test your resourcefulness with the useless strife cards. It is a play score of 8.08. 12 is Card Wars Kingdom. An upgrade of the classic Card Wars, engage in awesome, super complicated battles against friends and strangers in the new PvP battle mode. It's a mathematical duel with over 200 cards, including special cards for every hero. Rule the land of U with a play score of 8.04. 13 is Order and Chaos Duels. Embark on a trading card adventure along with the heroes of Gameloft's hit MMORPG. Defeat the demonic spirit Zeppar and put a stop to his invasion using the game's over 200 cards. Restore the order in the chaotic world of Haradon. It has a play score of 8.03. 14 is Pyramid Solitaire Saga. From the makers of Candy Rush comes the only solitaire game you can play with friends. Discover the secrets of a bygone time with Helena and her pet rat Kingsley. Solve puzzles, catch scarabs, and travel through time. It has a play score of 8.03. 15 is WWE Supercard. Who said cards and wrestling don't mix? Perform killer moves with your team of pro wrestlers and watch the cards in high flying action. WWE is a wacky place, but we sure didn't expect this. It has a play score of 8.00. You can get these games right now by clicking the link in the description box below. And the best Android card game so far is Reigns. What could possibly beat the other card games on this list? Apparently, Devolver Digital's casual indie game takes the throne. Although it's not a card game that lets you battle with players in real time, instead it lets you govern a seemingly complicated kingdom as a king. Make choices by playing the right cards. Swipe left and right to determine the future that rests upon your kingdom. Your decision is pivotal to the growth of your land. Manage its four important pillars and anticipate the events that hinder the progress of your beloved creation. Its simple controls make it easy to manipulate, yet difficult to master in the long run. Long live the king because this game has a play score of 8.78. Thank you to these awesome contributors from all around the world who helped us translate our videos to the respective languages. If you want to take part in the growth of our What to Play community, please translate your favorite What to Play videos to your language. 
simply click that more button below and select add translations. We publish 4 gaming videos every week so don't miss any of them. Click that bell button beside subscribe, check the send me box and save. Don't forget to like and share this video to your friends. To receive the latest play score and gaming updates, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Google+.